time. Time is the best healer. You know, you just have to wait and drink as much fluids as possible. And uh, things eventually will uh, become better. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone else. Stas, Maria, Xenia, and Alex. Hi. Oh, Xenia and Stas almost said hi at the same time. <laughs> you guys choose to uh, to type rather than chat. I mean, type rather than speak. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a hi, hi, oh, hi. <clears throat> yeah, it's good to hear you guys. Um, <clears throat> how's everyone? For me, it's fine. <laughs> it's Alex. Alex. Yeah, Everything how? is going well and so on. So how's your business? <laughs> Everything is going all right. I um, <clears throat> had a busy day. Everything so good? <laughs> as I yeah, I'm still a bit sick. I, I haven't seen you. Uh, yesterday, did I see you yesterday? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah, there. Did, yeah, yeah, you were in my class yesterday, the evening class. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, I feel better now. You know, this mm -hmm. morning I was still a little bit um, <clears throat> shaky. Mm -hmm. My voice was a bit shaky, but um, you know, when you're a teacher, you, you you tend to speak a lot. So um, when, once you get the flu as well, it, it's a um, bad combination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so something has to go wrong. Yeah. But it's all good. <laughs> How's your day, Alex? What did you do? The normal. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Yeah, nothing special. Just working the day. Everything was fine. Work hard, and I enjoyed it for this day. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I love my job, but sometimes it's not so enjoyable. Okay. But today it was very good, productive day. I, I think why. maybe because everyone had a good long weekend. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everyone had some time to, um, you know, see family and uh, party and, and so on. So yeah, even uh, even though I slept not well and not long, uh, for five hours maybe, mm -hmm. um, I'm still feel, feeling refreshing. So <laughs> okay. it's okay. Well, good day. Good. <laughs> that's great. What about the others? Maria, how are you? I haven't seen you yesterday. Or did I? Yes, hello guys. Uh, yes, I haven't uh, lesson, uh, had a lesson yesterday, I think. Only maybe one. Because I, uh, this is the dream and I'm a little bit lazy yesterday, I don't know. And I had a um, lesson with Leonardo. <laughs> I need to um, study him uh, like Cesar Milana. <laughs> you have to teach him what? What's that? Um, do you know this guy? Yes, oh, yes. Right, yes, he's got his own ch uh, show, right? He's like the dog whisperer or something like this. Yes, mm -hmm. dog yes, and I need to um, study him to be better. I mean, um, uh, I um, said him comment, comments like something what he need to do and he need to listen and uh, okay. uh, did what I want and sometimes it's really difficult and uh, now in my uh, family my dog is leader leader how to say he's the boss he's the yes he likes boss and uh, uh, sometimes I really had problem with him and now I need to change this situation and oh. I need to be leader and boss not him and uh, when uh, the class um, uh, was starting I talk with him I mean he, now he sit down he sit near with me and waiting when I said to him uh, okay you can eat and he waiting maybe uh, six minutes and look for his food <laughs> Oh, so you can see improvement. It's working, yeah? Yes, yes. He had a really big improve, uh, improvement for a short time because um, 
I try to study, I mean, take, uh, uh, was taking time with him each day, per day, I mean, maybe this, it's not so long, 20 minutes, 25 is the longest um, time, but he's quickly tired, I mean, I mean, uh, for him need um, focusing and concentration more than me, I mean, he really quickly tired for different comments. Do this, this, and again this, and lie, and sit, and down, and go, and uh, barking, and stopping, and... Uh. So he gets tired quite quickly. Mm -hmm. I see. He's not used to it. He's still getting getting used to the, uh, the whole uh, new who's the boss thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It takes time, but I'm really... I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, you know, to hear yeah. that you are... Sometimes you're becoming need the boss. Patience. Yeah. Because I need to um, wait him. I mean, not um, angrily, angry for him. I mean, uh, that sometimes it's really difficult to stay and wait. Then uh, uh, he did what I want. Mm -hmm. So how long did it did it take uh, did it take him to start listening to your commands? Uh, I think this is the mm, the second uh, the second week uh, weekends the wow, second so weeks yes so it's in not two, two weeks time yes two weeks time it took him wow that's really impressive yeah you must be really happy we <laughs> had something new for me but I know that I need to do now and maybe it's hard but in future we have uh, we can stay with him more closer and more <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's. I hope it's really can. I can do this. I hope that I can do this because for this need time and patience. That's all. Oh, excellent. That's really good. Um, there is this. Um, uh, there's this video it was on YouTube about this. Um, it was like a um, a German Shepherd, you know. It's I think it's it's a police dog or something, and they showed some training how you know he was listening to the master when to attack, you know, a, a certain individual when to attack the the bad guy, the thief or whatever. And it was amazing to to see how the dog is so obedient. It listens to you know 100 percent, you know whatever the master says and whenever the master says something the dog responds immediately it was really really um, impressive to watch I don't know where the video is if you maybe search it on YouTube and, you can uh, find sorry for interrupting and we yeah. have with Leonardo we have the teacher young uh, girl um, uh, and she uh, was studying us she's studying us because uh, it's neat, uh, she re uh, really helped us, I mean, she gave, uh, she gave for me really useful advices, how to do, how to give him uh, a really good emotions and uh, feelings for control him, and uh, it's neat uh, somebody who knows more and can see me and how I in connection with him, I mean, with the dog. Yes. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Um, yeah, dogs are amazing. Um, once they're trained and they know what to do, uh, they can be a, a real uh, companion. Um, all right, guys, let's get started, shall we? Had a nice little chat about training dogs. That was good. Okay, so um, our detective series. Yes, we are now on episode seven. We're going to interview the chef. Uh, but before we do that, before we, we listen to the interrogation, what happened in the previous interview? We heard the interview between uh, the detective and the fiance. Who remembers some of the idioms or some of the vocabulary that we learned? Stas, I think you were present. 
Yeah, I was, and I am trying to find the PDF. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> because I don't remember idioms. Yeah, we see not on one cup of tea, beating around the bush. I don't remember this. So yeah. Maybe I will find something that I remember. <laughs> okay. Does anyone remember any of them? And, and it was episode with man who want to marry oh. Emma. Yes. Yeah. It's some. It's uh, like the same or or not same. It's fancy, good. Yes, some. Um. Oh, some. Yes. It's like um, giving extra. You know, importance to some to a, to a noun. Yeah. Or oh, that's some car. You've got there. Yes. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, that's exactly it. That was one of them. Then honeymoon, go abroad. Um, yes, I good. See. Honeymoon. Yeah, a romantic holiday. Good. And then we had to go abroad. What about to um, when you secretly get married? When you run away to get secretly get married. What was that? Elope? Yes, very good. What else did we have? When you don't enjoy something, when you don't really enjoy something. Cup of tea? Yeah, not my cup of tea. Yeah, so I don't like this. It's not my cup of tea. Um, what else do we have? A, a person's responsibility or concern. You know, this is his problem or his concern. What did we? Uh, business, no? Or it's another? Uh, another one. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. It's similar to area. Place. Place, yeah. Excellent, thank you. <clears throat> so it's not his place, or it is his place to you know take care of the make children. Make decisions. Or make decisions, yeah. So it's his concern, his responsibility to you know to make sure that the right decisions are made. Very good. All right, let's open it. I'll quickly show you what else we had. So then we had to go on, to continue, and when you don't want to be accused, you say, don't look at me. Yeah, this was another good one. And it all comes down to, you know, I'll having think. the, yeah, <laughs> something. It all comes down to having the, the right information. All the evidence in order to accuse somebody. <clears throat> okay, so we've covered most of them then. So now I'm going to do seven and the chef. Ah, James. So Detective Bosley interviews James, the sarcastic chef. So some idioms that include here are last minute and prized possession. And also hand me down. Yeah. Okay, so sit back and relax and let's listen to the interview. Dialogue seven. Do you mind if I interrupt you for a moment, James? Sorry, I'm just looking at last minute travel deals. I really should be working. Were you working the night the ring disappeared? The precious ruby? What a joke that is. It's Cynthia's prized possession, isn't it? If you call a hand-me-down a treasure, it's like a hundred years old. It seems you're beating around the bush here. I asked you were you working the night of the robbery. Yes. I was with Paul and Cynthia in the kitchen. Right. I hear you were catering the whole shebang. Well, there won't be a wedding unless you find that ugly ring. Ugly? 
You don't strike me as a man who knows his jewelry. Actually, I haven't seen the ring myself. That's just what Emma calls it. It sounds like you're not getting any closer to finding it. Lucky for her. I can't help thinking you mean lucky for yourself. Do you have something against Paul? It's just bad timing is all. My buddy's already planned a road trip to Vegas next weekend. Anyway, I'm counting on you to find that ring eventually. What difference does it make to you? I get Emma's room after the wedding. It's the perfect size for my get-togethers. Cynthia owes me a few favors. What have you done for her besides cook lousy meals? Let's just say I accompany her from time to time when she needs a date. Pardon me, but isn't the widow a bit old for you? Didn't you know? Cynthia's husband was half her age. She has a thing for younger guys. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> I see Alex already making uh, <laughs> making some decisions here, more predictions. So, that's the chef, good old James. So now I'll show you the PDF, and we'll get straight into it. Okay. So here's the recap. Whoa, it's a bit too much. Um, let's see. Um, Xenia, could you please read the recap for us? Yes, in episode 6, Detective Bosley interviewed Emma's fiancé, Paul. Paul is head over heels in love with Emma. He can't wait to marry her, but it annoys him that Cynthia is uh, running the show. In fact, Paul wishes he could choose the ring himself. Himself. Uh, this war is Detective Bo This war is Detective Bosley. Uh, could Paul be uh, sabotaging his own wedding? Detective Bosley has a few more suspects to talk to before he draws any conclusion. Let's find out if Chef James has a motive. Ah, very good. Thank you for reading that. What does sabotaging mean? Uh, it's something. just tell something about secret something, not secret. To prevent? To prevent? No. Spoil? Spoil, yes. Um, but to su sabotage? Mm, make not happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so it's like deliberately, on purpose, you yeah. are, you know, destroying something or damaging something. Yeah. Yeah, or preventing f something from happening deliberately. Yeah. So it's like sub sabotage. Yeah, this, uh, I think we can all guess it comes from France or the French language. Yeah, maybe uh, we have the same uh, word. In Russian? Russian. Yeah, sabotage. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good. I yeah, think I think, it, it, I it's, think been, it's uh, just the same meaning. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So, any other words in here? I think all the others are pretty straightforward. Okay. So, here we have um, something interesting. Like, it's a mystery. The word like is overused in the English language. Oh, yes, it sure is. People use the word like as a space filler. It is sometimes used when a person can't think of, of the perfect word or expression right away. For example, the wedding was like really old-fashioned. You know, like the bride was wearing white and it was like in a church. Yeah, so here... Uh, this use of like is saved for very informal conversations. Other common filler words are, um, uh, and you know. <laughs> okay, so do you use any of these guys? 
Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> yeah. I think we shouldn't use it a lot. Nah, it's it's very informal. So if you're speaking to a friend, um, yeah, I'll just use one there. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, it's pretty. Uh, it's okay, you know, it's acceptable. However, in the IELTS exam, it's a little bit different. Uh, try not to overuse it. There are exceptions, mm -hmm. but you have to use smart fillers. You know? uh, if you use uh or um, you know, like all these too much, then it becomes a little bit annoying, uh, <laughs> annoying and not suitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty informal. Do any of you use this at all, or do you have a habit of using, you know? <laughs> like, um, for example, oh, none I'm of you? Sure. <laughs> no. Maria? I used. Yeah, I thought I heard some of you. Some of you. I think. Have the have the other students noticed any of the other ones use any of these? I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, it's interesting, yeah. It's just to show how much attention we we pay to um, the other students' conversation. <laughs> Do I use any of these? Have you noticed? Mm, yeah, sometimes, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Every, no? na every now and then, I might use some of these. I think you know. You use. You know. Very often. Oh, well done. Yeah, I've heard that before, actually. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I say this without even knowing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was planned. <laughs> yeah, um, but people have told me, like my wife, for example, you, you mm -hmm. know all the time. Why are you saying that? Stop it. <laughs> it's just you know you develop this habit, and yeah, you know, it's there to help you, uh, you know. <laughs> Say words which you can't think of at one instant. Yeah. So these are good to know. Uh, so try to listen to yourself and see if you can pick up um, any of these, and then try to subdue. Try to subdue using these words uh, if you can. Mm -hmm. Honestly, once you pick up that you're saying one of these and you try not to say them, uh, it you becomes very, very, <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> To, to speak fluently, mm -hmm. <laughs> then all of a sudden you'll be paranoid and you'll start thinking, um, "What I say? Did, did I say it? Did I not say it?" <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't worry about it too much. It's uh, it's it's fine. So fact file, James. What's his relationship to the widow? Mm. It's chef. The chef. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure, sure admire. Like. Oh, <laughs> ah, secret admirer. Yeah. No, secret low, I don't know. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out more as the story unfolds. So, scheduling uh, a conflict, that, that was his motive. Um, well, that's his motive. Location of questioning, computer room. What about his alibi? Mm. He was in the kitchen and Paul. Very good. He was in the kitchen with Paul and Cynthia. Okay. All right, here we have the bunch of vocab. So, first line, Sergey. Last minute without any time left before a deadline or due date. How, I'm sure you've heard of this one. Yes. Yeah? yeah. Try to make a sentence with it. Uh, People are worried when they do the job on the last minute. Oh, perfect. Yes. People start to stress and get worried when they leave, you know, certain uh, tasks, uh, projects, assignments, 
till the last minute. Very good. Next one. Stas. Christ plus session, the thing that you value most in life. Chef, uh, thinks that uh, the ring for Cynthia priced possession. Mm. Yes, yes, it definitely was or is. The ring is a prized possession. What's your uh, prized possession, Stars? It's a very personal question. Oh, I really? To answer. So, so that <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to find out something more about you. <laughs> <laughs> it's secret. Death March um, is coming. Yes, yes. I, I hope you are you're getting ready <laughs> to <laughs> reveal yourself to everyone. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's not scare him. <clears throat> Maria. We don't care, whatever you look like, we'll still love you, stars. All right, Maria? Mm. Hand me down. Something that you pass on to another person when you don't need it anymore. Not used clothes. So this is like a noun, yeah? Mm -hmm. A hand me down. Um, uh, for example, when I was when I was in childhood, I used uh, a hand-me-down jeans after my brother. I don't know how to say it correct. Mm. Okay, so. Your brother's jeans, did you say? Yes, yes. After him, I mean. Mm -hmm. So he gave you his jeans? Yes, because he he's older than me, and after him, I used, uh, for example, his jeans. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Or in other clothes, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Short. Okay. That's good. So you could say um, these jeans are a hand me down from my brother. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Or this, um, you know, anything. Maybe a bag or a laptop. <laughs> Can be anything. Okay, so let's have a look. Next one. Xenia. Uh, the whole shebang. Everything, nothing is left out. Uh -huh. Is that? Yes, it's new and uh, every interesting, I think. Yeah. Has anyone heard of this before? The whole shebang? No. Not me. None of no. you? No. Ah, this is very interesting. I think it's uh, like history, uh, not he in, in bed. Yes? No. Like, no? No, no. You can use the whole shebang for anything. Anything that includes everything. <laughs> yeah? It's like stuff. Yeah, you can use it. <clears throat> so if I ask you, um, your wedding, let's say, what, how, what was your wedding like? Um, did you did you have decorations, nice decorations? Did you have uh, different kinds of flowers? Um, did you have um, a lot of people? Did you have a band playing music? He said, "Yes, I had the whole shebang." Mm -hmm. so basically, you had everything that you you could possibly think of having in a wedding. Mm -hmm. You just had everything; nothing was left out. I heard this in some uh, song, you know, the old shebang. Uh, Ricky, Ma Ricky Martin. <laughs> I don't remember, but it's really a popular uh, song about something, and I think that he uh, sung something like the old shebang. I don't know. I'm not uh, sure. I think that that was a different meaning. Where yeah, really? Shebangs, shebangs. Yeah, 
yes, yeah, yeah, it's Ricky Martin singing. It was a world, world Cup football World Cup song, I believe. But it's the same uh, world, world or um, not? Well, I think it's different. It's different. It has a different meaning there. Yeah. Here we have to use the whole, the whole shebang. We have to use these whole shebang. Yeah, so like the example I gave, you include everything. Uh, let's say you're buying a new car, and usually when you buy a new car, a fancy car, expensive car, for example, you have certain options. Mm -hmm. You have and optional. It, uh, I bought a car, and it has uh, all the whole shebang. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so if you are buying the new, um, I don't know. The new, the new Audi S4, let's say. I like Audis. So the new Audi S4, you, you can get it maybe, I don't know, for, from 50,000 pounds starting, let's say, up to 70,000 pounds. So the most expensive, if you in, include all the extras, all the optional extras, it'll cost you more. So I ask uh, Alex Sol, what optional extras did you did you choose? Of oh, the whole shebang, mm -hmm. so everything that could be chosen, I have chosen. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one, Alex. I believe it's your turn. <laughs> uh, to strike someone as to cause someone to have an option, opinion, or thing about uh, another person or thing. Example, he doesn't strike me as a rich person. Ah, yes, yeah, see. Ah, what an example. Hmm. I think uh, some people strikes me like a very artistic person. Okay. Yeah, some people strike me as. Uh, very artistic. Yeah, it's usually better to use a name, mm -hmm. a specific person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can, you can maybe give a compliment. Mm -hmm. Compliment <laughs> someone. Uh, yeah, so perhaps if if I look at your avatar, your picture, like I said before. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, about being an actor. You strike me as being an actor. You know, yeah. I have uh, this opinion or feeling about about you. <laughs> okay, what about the next one, <clears throat> Sergey? To have something against, to have a, a concern or dislike towards something or someone. Yep. Um, against. Oh, I don't know how to use it. So, if you have a problem with someone or something, you can use this. Yeah. No. I have. Um, something against people swearing in front of me. Mm -hmm. So I don't like it when people curse or swear in front of me. Yeah. So I have something I, against people. I swearing. feel angry against the people. Oh yeah. I have something against people who um, are ang what, ang angry. What should we? We should say we have something against, yes. or we should substitute something. No, with. you don't have to substitute anything. You just leave it like it is. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit odd because in the previous one, we can substitute it. Yeah. But here, you leave it. You don't change it. Yeah. yeah. I have something against. You know, you can make up anything, really. Anything you dislike, or anyone you dislike. Yeah, I see. Okay. Okay. I have something against um, Barack Obama, for example. 
Not that I do, but yeah, that's an example. Road trip. Yeah. Stars. The type of travel by car that takes at least a few hours sometimes takes days. My sentence is I am like Sheldon, don't like road trip, I like train trip. <laughs> is this from the movie? Yeah, yeah. So big, big, bang theory. big Bang Theory. Yeah. All right, from the <laughs> famous Big Bang Theory. Big Tom. Very nice. Big Tom. Yeah, it's funny. I've watched a few of them. I'm not a regular follower though, but uh, yeah, they're funny. Okay, what about the next one, Maria? To count on, to rely on, to expect another person or thing to fulfill a need. Mm. For example, mm, I think, uh, uh, if I decide to buy uh, a new car, I can count on my parents in money. To give me money. To give me money. Yeah, very good. If I want to buy a new car, I can count on my parents to give me some money or to help me with buying the car. Mm -hmm. Very good, good sentence. Or if you want to buy a new car, you can count on your parents to give you advice, perhaps, mm -hmm. on which car to buy. Maybe you're not sure. They can help you. Very good. Xenia? Get together. An informal gathering of people often with no specific purpose. Uh -huh. I don't like get together because I think it's wasting of time. Good sentence. Yes. I don't like get togethers, but you have to use the S here. Mm -hmm. Get togethers. Because this is like a noun, yeah? This is a noun. Mm -hmm. Because of this hyphen, it makes this a noun. It can be a phrasal verb. Do you want to get together this weekend? Here it's a phrasal verb. A get together. Xenia doesn't like get togethers because she thinks she thinks they are a waste of time. Good sentence. Alex, the last one. Mm, to owe a few favors, to have to do a few helpful things for another person who has done helpful things for you in the past. I owe a few favors to my friends who. Mm, Mm, who helps me uh, to throw th old things from my house. <laughs> yes, why not? Very good sentence, yeah. You owe a few, fa uh, few favors to your friend who helped you throw out some of the junk. Yeah. Yeah, from your old, let's say, apartment. Maybe you're moving or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Moving on. Jeez, this time catches up to us so quickly. <sighs> okay, Sergey, let's start with you. Let's see if you can fill the gap. Do you mind if I interrupt you for a moment, James? Sorry, I'm just looking at last-minute travel deals. I really should be working. Where are you working the night the ring disappeared? The Precious, uh, precious Rabbi, what a joke that is. Very good. Excellent. So, at last minute travel deals. Good. And I like your intonation here. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. That was my mistake. Yeah. My... yeah last time you were, uh, your intonation was always high. And where, all the questions. Where are you walking the night the ring disappeared? Where? Where? Were you working the night the ring disappeared? Oh, uh, should I go up? After? Yeah, it goes up. Yeah, actually, your initial, your first time was going up, which was good. Yeah, but I, I always forget about when we shouldn't go up. What kind of. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was right the first time, yes. So whenever it's a yes and no question, you should go up at the end. Yeah. yeah. If it's an information question, an information question, 
like you need to explain or give a long answer, then it goes down at the end. All right. Yeah. Stars? No, yeah, thank you. No problem. Uh, it seems a uh, priced possession, isn't it? If you call a hand me down a treasure, it's like uh, 100 years old. It yeah. seems you're beating around the bush here. I asked you, were you walking the night of the robbery? Very good. Yeah, excellent. And your intonation was also spot on. Yeah, very good. Surprised possession and hand me down. A hand me down. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Maria? Yes, I was with uh, Paul and Cynthia in the kitchen. Right, I hear you are catering the whole shebang. Well, we won't be a wedding unless you find that ugly ring. Ugly? You don't um, strike me as uh, a man who knows his jewelry. Very good. Well done, Maria. Yes, you don't strike me as a man who knows his jewelry. Yeah, and your tonation was perfect here. Ugly? Who? Oh? Yeah, it's like... Okay, next one. Senia. Actually, I haven't seen the ring myself. The just that Emma calls it. It sounds like you are not getting any closer to find it. Lucky for her. I can't help thinking you mean lucky for yourself. Uh, do you have something against Paul? Yeah, good. Good intonation as well. Do you have something against Paul? Good. Okay, then we have the next. Alex? Uh, it's just that timing uh, is all. My body's already planned a road trip to Vegas next weekend. Anyway, I'm... Um, I don't know what to place here. Uh, like rely on. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot. One, two, three, four, five. No. <laughs> ah, I'm counting, yeah. Uh, thank you. I'm yeah. counting uh, you to One. find that ring eventually. What difference does it make to you? Excellent. Very good. So here, there is no uh, rise in the intonation. It's dropping. What difference does it make to you? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. And the last star, so you can complete it. Uh, <laughs> I get Emma's uh, room after the wedding. It's the perfect site for, for my get. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> can anyone help him? All three words. Oh, was it? Like all. No, sorry, it was two words. Yeah. Yeah, get something that get together. Say, get together. Yes, Xenia didn't Xenia. like get togethers. It's the perfect size for my get together. Cynthia owes me a few favor. What have you done for her besides cook uh, lousy meals? Let's just say I accompany her from time to time when she needs a date. Pardon me, but isn't the widow a bit old for you? Good. Didn't you know? Since her husband was half her age, she has a thing for younger guys. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. Perfect. Intonation was spot on. Well done, Stas. And by the way, um, get togethers, plural, yeah? And owes me a few favors, again, plural. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well done, guys. Okie dokie, let's see if we can do this in a jiffy. So we got to match the left uh, words or phrases to the right. Uh, these definitions on the right are slightly different to the ones above, so let's see if we can figure them out. So, uh, Sergey. Yeah, get together. Um. 
I think you pass on. No, 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 it's not oh, that. Oh, I forget. It's party. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thank it's you. like an informal party, yeah? A get together. Yeah. You might have get togethers every Saturday night with your friends. Last minute, Stas? Well, I think it's G with almost no time remaining. Yes, very good. Uh, Maria? Mm, to strike someone else. To not like an aspect of something or someone. No. You read that sentence, remember? You don't strike me as... I took... Yes, very good. Oh, yes, yes. Well, someone, someone to make an assumption. Excellent. Okay. Four, Xenia? Prized possession. It's the last something that is very valuable to someone. Excellent. Very good. Five, Alex? To count on, to rely on. Yeah, that's easy. Six, <laughs> Sergey. It's the long distance travel by car. Yeah, very good. Long distance travel or car. Seven, stars. The whole shaman, uh, every detail on this aspect. Yes, every detail and aspect. Okay, eight. Maria? Uh, maybe the last one. Draw a few favors. J? Oh. Yeah. No, we had J already. Ah, really? Yeah, that's the prize position. It's something helpful for another. Yes, it's helpful. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. F. Excellent. Yeah. Do a few helpful things for someone. Nine. Senior. Hand me down. I think you pass on B. Yes. I think you pass on. And the last one. To, Alex. to have something against. To not like an aspect of something or someone. Yeah, very good. E. That's E. Excellent. Um, let's see. There's just one more, a couple more left. <clears throat> so I'll give you the link for this, guys, as always, so you can do this as homework. Yeah. Actually, what's on the last page? Oh. This is also good. Yeah, next we're gonna have to cut down and start straight away. Guys, remind me next time we do a detective class to just get straight into it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, for some reason we just get uh, you know it's my fault. I should be sticking to the to the rules. Um, yeah, because this year is quite handy to discuss. Anyways, I'll give you the link for it. <clears throat> this is episode seven. Anything you'd like to ask me, guys? Nothing serious. <laughs> Nothing serious, apart from who's watching the match tonight? Barcelona, Man City. Really? Yeah, you don't know. Man no. City, Barcelona it starts in an hour, less than an hour. Yeah. Yes, my dear friends. Hmm. No, I miss it. I'll miss it. <laughs> you're going to miss it, because you're going to be in my class. Mm, yeah, certainly, and I'll be sleeping, I hope, through the oh. game. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, anyways, guys, good to see you all. Um, if you have the time, the next hour, please do join. We're going to do some um, speaking files. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Thank you. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.